guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to our channel, Some Days Here. Today, Daryl and I were just sitting around, so we decided we'd go ahead and cook something because we don't have anything to eat for supper tonight. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make, I found this crock pot recipe that is really easy and we love it. I had to improvise a little bit because it calls for a can of corn with the liquid. And all I had was some frozen corn on the cob, so I cut it off and put a little bit of chicken broth in there to improvise for it. But normally it will call for one can of cold, I mean a whole kernel corn with the juice. So what it is, you're supposed to do two chicken breasts, but I find one chicken breast is plenty. And all we do is put the chicken breast in the bottom of the crock pot, and I use these neat little liners here. So I'm going to do that and put it in there. And then you add a can, one can of black beans that have been drained. You add it to there. This is so easy, y'all. A can of corn, undrained. A can of Rotel, undrained. One teaspoon of cumin. Spread it over it. One teaspoon of onion powder. Hope y'all are having a good day today. It's really pretty where we are today. We are going to do one tablespoon of chili powder. And it calls for one package of the Hidden Valley Dry uh, Package Mix for the, the um, ranch dressing. So I buy it at Costco, so I'm just, it, I looked it up and it's two tablespoons. So I'm just going to use two tablespoons. Then I'm going to stir this up. And your chicken, you can have it either defrosted or not defrosted. And you can also cook it on high for um, three to four hours, or you can cook it on low for four to six hours. I'm going to opt to do high for three to four hours. And after that, all you're going to do is add one block of cream cheese to the top and put it in there. And I am going to put the top on it. I'm going to turn it on high, and we're going to call it a day. Hope you are doing well. I know this is just really a short video. We're going to, I'm going to really start getting back into all the cooking videos that I used to do. So, But this was just something that we had all that we were going to cook, so we just decided we'd turn it on and let y'all see what we're doing today. But I hope y'all have a great day, and thank you so much for watching, and we'll come back to you when it's done and show you. It is so good. But thank Okay, guys, we're back. The chicken is now done. And the stuff has been cooking for about three and a half, four hours. So it's ready to go. So I was able to shred the chicken, which you do have to take the chicken out and shred it. And then put it back in. So I, have, I already have shredded the chicken. And I'm going to stick it back in here. And give this a good stir. And then I'll let it go another 10 or 15 minutes just to get everything to kind of marry and do it right. And I want you to see the inside, just see what it looks like. Because all of this is black, it's like a Mexican dish. Because all of this is black beans, corn, cream cheese, like I said, chicken, and rotel. Let me pick, can I pick this up and show them? Yeah, let me pick it up. And this is what it looks like. It's not a real thin soup, it's a thick, creamy soup, which I like. So, and it's really, really tasty. Hope I'm not making you too dizzy. But I had to show y'all too. For Christmas, I got my little apron to cook in that my um, son and daughter-in-law gave me with me and my two grandchildren on here. And I think it is so cute, but I had to show y'all. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and eat this and enjoy it. And I hope you like this recipe. 
And if you do, go ahead, try it. Let me know what you think about it because it is so easy and good. You can go out for the day, come back, and it's done. Just shred your chicken, put it back in there, and you're, it's a wrap. So we hope you have a nice afternoon. Thank you so much. Remember, some days here.